Welcome to Dr. VoIP Training. This brief training segment is from the Dr. VoIP Shortel 8 Administration video series. The complete 15 hours of training is available online or on DVD at drvoip.com. Let's meet our coach, Peter Buswell. Known throughout the telecom industry as Dr. VoIP, Peter brings a wealth of experience to his training sessions. He has worked in telecom since 1970. He's worked exclusively in VoIP since 1998. He's a VoIP entrepreneur with three venture capital-backed businesses. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology Management, plus certifications from some of America's leading communications companies. Let's join one of Peter's training sessions now in progress. The Shortel uh, system to set up uh, account codes. And account codes are used, let's say, by a law firm to build back telephone calls to clients. And in previous versions of Shortel, you could have a maximum of uh, 50,000 account codes. Um, in Shortel 8, we we uh, don't seem to have an upward limit. We have the ability to use wild cards. And the system uh, will prompt a user based on their class of service. A class of service is a subject we're going to cover in greater detail later, but just to take a quick look at it here, if we went over to user groups, we might find that um, the user group call finders um, account code collection is disabled. Well, you might want to create either forced, optional, or disable it. If it's disabled, you'll never hear anything about account codes. If account codes are, in fact, optional, the system, when this user places a call, will be transferred to the call accounting extension and prompted to enter an, ex, uh, an account code. The account code uh, um, will have to be previously defined in this list. And as you can see, they can be of various lengths. We can also use wildcards. And uh, if it's declared to be optional, um, the person will be prompted to put in their account code. And actually, their call manager will um, actually pop up a list of available account codes. And they can select it from the list, or they can just go ahead and, and um, uh, touch tone in the digits, uh, terminating it by a pound key. If the account code is uh, defined to be optional, they can just hit the pound key and the call will continue. If it is forced, meaning they must put in a legitimate account code, they will in fact have to enter a previously defined account code, a legitimate one, or the call will not complete. So um, adding a new account code is pretty straightforward. Um, hit the new button, go ahead and um, give it a name, give it an actual um, digits that you expect the subscriber to type in when they're prompted to enter the account code. And that uh, information will be available in the call detail records uh, later on for build back to the clients or the departments in this example.